the next guest here is someone who I hold dear. Long he's a, time, he's a man. Part of the show. Uh, it's been a while since we it's talked. Just, I think since last media day, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Justin, Long what have time. you been up to? Oh also, the camera being down, like you were the biggest person out of all three. Like we got a line going here. Like you were literally 10 times bigger than both of us. But for some reason, it looks like <laughs> I need to get like down low. So, that we... so do I. I'll get down yeah, lower. I'll get right, like this. Right, yeah. And now I got a Charlie horse. I'm using all the, uh, all the Hollywood tricks to look thin. Yes. Right. All right. What's been up, man? How have you been? Oh, man. Uh, just out here living a good life. Uh, actually, I, I am smaller now. Lost like 60 pounds this year. Oh, nice. hell yeah. Congratulations, Let's go. Man. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, getting my shit together. <laughs> what do you What have you been doing to like keep the weight off and, and, and get slimmer? You oh, do look slim. I mean, dude, you look great. You look Thank solid, you. man. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, this is going to blow you away, but I just eat less. <laughs> Holy shit. My it's, mind. Uh, <laughs> I know it's I thought you were going to say some shit like Jenny Craig or something. You're like, yo, I'm on uh, this Jenny Craig and it actually works. You're just like, nah, I'm just eating less. It's, 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 it's hard to wrap crazy. your head around. Uh, um, <laughs> but yes, yes, fewer, fewer calories. That's no, it. So, no one just no workouts, nothing like yeah. that. Hmm. Uh, you know, same, same amount of workout. So, uh, that's awesome, dude. You get the results. Way to do it. Uh, just finally uh, put my put my head to it. So that's beautiful. Love it. Uh, and you're are you still like eating the same stuff, just less, right? Uh, pretty or, much. Um, I mean, maybe not as often, but um, yeah, just less of it. You know, I'm not gonna like not go out with friends or you know, mm -hmm. have that Smart. third beer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Smart call there, though, man. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good. But that's awesome. So um, retirement. Now, did now did you follow uh, the season? You know, what did you think of the Falcons? Like, oh my goodness! Uh, I mean, what, what a way that? to squander, you know, great talent yeah. uh, at, at so many different positions. I mean, coming into the season, I was kind of excited. Like, oh man, this offense. I mean, if, if I was playing Madden with this offense, I would score 40, 40 points a game. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, somehow we use other people when we have, uh, you know. uh please, please give me some confidence about Arthur Smith. He is the offensive coordinator of the Steelers. Oh, that's and I right. saw the Falcons completely mangle that offense. And I'm like, Oh God. Uh, I mean, <sighs> you guys aren't that dissimilar, you know, uh, that's the problem. A, <laughs> they're, they're a very <laughs> run heavy offense and like they rely on play action. You, you have questions of quarterback. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the same offense except there's. I mean, you have a service, a, a good tight end. You know, I wouldn't say uh, the talent is definitely at the level of the Falcons though. Like George Pickens is good, and like you know, Friermuth's good. Would you take them over Drake London and Kyle Pitts? No, no. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure if if Arthur's going to do more with less, especially so what when the quarterback is in flux. What do you think the Falcons do? Do you think Ritter's like even? back or like Ooh. like how do you fix the falcons because they they have talent it's just like you said they have talent like it, it was so misdirected last year what what's the fix for this team uh, i i think you use what you have i mean if you just i mean i don't, I don't know what the game plans were obviously but i i know what i saw if you use the guys that you have the, these studs you have you probably still have a job here. Uh, now, granted, mm -hmm. you know, having a job is not a big deal to that guy, you know, uh, when daddy's got billions. But Yeah, billions, uh, literally. Hey, 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 John o. Smith needs his reps. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think, I think you, you guys are in trouble up there. Um, yeah, but gonna we're going to sign John o. Smith, and we're, yeah, we're, we're screwed. Zero confidence. What do you think of Ritter? <sighs> you know, I, I actually liked him coming out of Cincy. Um you know what, what he's being asked to do might not necessarily be like in his wheelhouse, uh, but e even still, I mean, you need to be able to run you know basic stuff and, and make mm -hmm. it look like you've you know played some football before. Uh, a lot of you know, I, I can accept 
you know, physical mistakes. Everyone's going to make those. Yeah. If you play long enough, you know, that, that shit's going to happen. But, um, you know, you had to be able to you know, keep this part in the, in the game at all times and you know, be, a, be a professional. Um, yeah. I mean, he handled the season as well as, you know, most people could, you know, between benching and whatnot and all these other things. Uh, I don't believe I ever saw him come out and say anything disparaging about Heineke or, you know, whatever the situation was. Um, so you know, kudos on that part, but um, you got to play better. That, that's uh, who did the uh, the Falcons just hired? Um, Raheem Morris. Raheem, Raheem Morris. Morris. What do you feel about that? Ooh, uh, never played for him, but no guys that have. And obviously, we played a, you know against them in Tampa for many, many years. Um, I think this you know time around will go better than his last head coaching stint. Um, you know, sometimes when guys get the call like super early, you know, I'm sure you're excited about it. You know, you're obviously you're working hard, putting on a lot of hours, but. You know, maybe you just pick up some things, hopefully, uh, along the way and put together a great staff around you. Um, I mean, obviously, he's a defensive minded coach, and, uh, you know, it's never really been our forte here. You need that. I mean, the last time you had like a really good defense was in the 80s, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I, yeah, I think Raheem is good. I mean, he, he kind of flamed out in Tampa. He wasn't all, I mean, but he was in a really wrong situation. I mean, that was, was like uh, the 30s. He was too green. That was in 2012. That was like 10 years yeah. ago. Was that was uh, not Josh Norman? What was the quarterback? That was Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman. 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 Yeah, Freeman. yeah, yeah that was it, bad. That was yeah. that era. It was just, uh, not he had two really great, great years and then just pff, fell. It was weird. Oh, this is a good one. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I know you studied the the, the Falcons, but uh, <laughs> oh, man. we we could have laughed at you if if you know if we, if, uh, we still did the show. Oh, but if yeah. Ooch were around, he'd be laughing. Oh like gosh, he would have. He, he probably would have texted you the, the whole Cowboys. game. Yeah, he, he freaking hated. hated. Them. What it what like were you just like did you were you not surprised were you surprised was it like just I'm never surprised anymore um, maybe a little bit at the at the manner in which we you know found a way to fuck it up this time around um, but but the the act itself no n never surprised yeah um, you know we're always going to be good to pretty good. Mm -hmm. in the regular season uh, and, and i'm sure we'll be right back next year um just to do it all over again right yeah yeah we'll, mm -hmm. we'll find a way to you know well i guess we'll, we'll have to win the division now yeah or actually, actually no no we can't um the curse yeah yeah but, but still we'll, we'll be the wild card and um you know go to san fran and you know do some last minute blunder with the clock or something or and then have Ezekiel line up at center which was also <laughs> really funny as well <laughs> but we, now, went out, I, we went out better than that now I, I i let's end on a positive note now your alma mater texas had a yeah. good run were you satisfied with that season even though it kind of ended poorly uh, yes uh very much so i mean from the previous a year, year and a half. Obviously, we're heading in the right direction and you know, making use of what's available to us, which is a shit ton of money. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're yeah. gonna have, you know, the, the field the best team that the money can buy, um, which which is where the sport's heading. So mm -hmm. you know, the Texas is the Texas AMs of the world that can go stroke a check and not really give a shit. Um I think you're going to be in good positions um, or, you know, to go out and uh, buy out a coach for uh, 75 million bucks and, and just not even worry about it. Just not like, really sweat too hard, you know? Yeah. Um, you can take those kind of chances. So um, between that and like the, the probably super conference that's, you know, on the horizon, mm -hmm. 
I, I like it's our, just going to be one conference at one point. They're just it's going to tip and then it's just going to me, uh, mesh into one, one. one mega conference. Yes, one to rule yeah. them all. And it'll just be Division One FBS conference and Division One FCS. Like it'll just be two different things. Like it'll just be major leagues, minor leagues, and that's it. Promotion relegation. It's see just, that. yeah, it's just taken so long to get here. All right. I need a Super Bowl prediction from you. Justin, Ooh. did we let's see what you said last year because you're one of the rare people that was on the show last year and you said the Chiefs would win 28 24. So you pretty much you got the team right, did not get exact score, but that that's pretty close right there. So who you got in this one? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I like them again. Uh, let me let me get that out there. I uh, I don't know the line and all that stuff. I'm not a betting man. But um let me say I think it's lower scoring, uh just the way that their offense has been performing. Um you know down the stretch. Uh even though they had a decent game uh in, in the conference final. Uh the conference championship I should say. Uh let me say twenty one seventeen. Oh wow, that's a, that's a low. That, you you're expecting a defensive battle here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I mean, the, the defense has really improved. Uh, Spags got them playing their ass off. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and they're looking good. I, I, I'm ho- I'm hoping that the Purdy magic is over. <laughs> <laughs> the Purdy magic. I can't imagine like. He's just going to be like doing 360s and getting away from Chris Jones uh, time after time. I don't see that either. I mean, they got, I mean, he was exceptional in the championship game, but like, you know, if you let Brock Purdy rush for 40 yards in, in, in one chunk, that's shame that's on you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not even hit what he's known for. And if he goes and takes off and does that to you, that's, that's pretty rough. Look, but is, hey, is Brock Jackson. <laughs> uh thanks for coming bye love always talking to you keep in touch if i ever make it down to atlanta we got to hang out and have that third beer together absolutely sure. it's on me and uh yeah man love you thanks for popping in yeah, of course, fellas. good to see you all again right. man right, love you guy thanks all right justin blaylock everyone former atlanta falcon former texas uh, Longhorn played in the greatest game in college football history as the starting uh, right guard and watched Vince Young make that incredible play.